Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Got a beautiful day going here today. Plenty of good sunshine. All systems are charging up, looking great. Going to take you on a little bit of a tour and show you how all these systems, while independent of each other, can be moved around and altered to meet all of the needs of this off-grid lifestyle. So hope you enjoy the video. So as I started to make this video, I wanted to call it how five independent systems all work together to maintain everything out here. And I'd actually forgot one system. So it's actually uh, a combination of six separate uh, charging stations and power stations that we move around uh, to meet the needs out here. So I'll show you the first one here. So we'll start with the first one. This is 1,000 watts of solar, 500 watts on top, 500 watts on the bottom. Each are independent strings tied in series together, and each one goes into a separate charge controller. And each one of those strings ties into uh, these Victron charge controllers. I've showed you this system many times still consider this to be the the main house system 600 amp hours lithium iron phosphate 500 watts into there 500 watts into there everything looking good sitting at actually 100 percent full right now like i said beautiful conditions i've done lots of videos on this system if you want to go back and uh, review it in more detail but we'll just continue on to the other systems and this solar array here is for two more systems that top string is 500 watts in series uh, going to another 12 volt system and then these bottom 700 watts worth of panels in series is going to a 48 volt system and when we get back inside i'll show you what those are going to but two more systems here and this one 140 watt panel is being used it's a poly panel the others are monocrystalline this is a polycrystalline and uh it, this is what is being used to uh, deliver water and then these 300 watts of uh, panels tied in series are going to a 24 volt system and those 300 uh, watt panels 300 watts tied in series for the 24 volt system here's the heart of the 24 volt system it's one time usb 25.6 volt 100 amp hour battery this is used absolutely every single day we keep it in production to show you, since we've done a review on this, how it continues to work. It's also sitting at 100% full now. After being used to run the coffee maker this morning, it makes coffee every single morning. Coffee maker draws about 600 watts. It's kind of a low uh, power coffee maker, a smaller one, but it is used every day many times. Takes it back down about 10%, 15% every single morning has worked flawlessly since it's been tied up, tied up rather. <laughs> and it has a, a 7515 Victron charge controller right there, set at 24 volts and a little 800 watt, 24 volt sine, pure sine wave inverter. And I get under here. And it's just one of the very simple systems that we built to demonstrate how to build a smaller system and how to use a smaller 28 or 24 volt system rather. And then this one here, that 500 watts on that top string that I showed you, uh, that's coming in and it is powering up this red Odo, 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. Again, since my review, this has been running uh, 24 7 running a 20 cubic foot refrigerator now today it's sitting at 61 percent full and charging 
and it'll probably get near a full charge. It has been every day. So that's yet another system. And that main house system that I showed you at the very beginning is still considered the main house system, but sometimes do jockey around. If that one's getting low, I can switch over and run this. And ever since I started reviewing that battery, I've left it hooked up and that's been a couple of weeks now. I have not had to switch that out. It just continues to run a 20 cubic foot refrigerator. And that 700 watt string that I showed you is running this Power Queen 48 volt, 90 amp hour battery. This one runs 24 seven as well. We've got it running a, a five cubic foot deep freezer. And this has been tied up like that and running that nonstop 24 seven for many, many months. I've never had to switch that out and do anything to that continues to run the freezer non-stop perfectly loving that battery as well and for that 48 volt battery using the victron 150 35 you can see that yellow light shows that it's in absorption phase right now so it's a completely full battery as well working very good and there's a shot of the a five cubic foot Visani deep freezer. It's always below zero in there, completely packed full. And that Power Queen runs that exclusively. And that's been a nice way to divvy up the power distribution here. And that Redodo that I just showed you, that 200 amp hour Redodo has been running this 20 cubic foot LG refrigerator. Both of these are very efficient, but just to go to show you that one 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate can run a, an efficient 20 cubic foot refrigerator, no problem whatsoever. And the last system is tied up to this. This is another 140 watt old poly panel like the one I showed you that's running the water system. Both of those panels, this one and the other one, uh, 15 years old, still working perfectly. And this is uh, tied into uh, a little lead acid system that I still have a couple of lead acid batteries. And that one panel keeps this 300 amp hour bank of Trojan motives. Uh, those are each 150 uh, amp hours paralleled together for another 300 amp hour bank can see a little corrosion, which I don't get on any of those lithium iron phosphates. Going to have to clean these terminals up here pretty quick. But anyway, those batteries are uh, just a few years old and they still work well. Going to keep them here till they're dead, but then that'll be the last of it for lead acid. So when I started this channel, I started building other systems as I started getting other batteries to review. I wanted to keep them up and running for you guys so you could see over time how they continue to work uh, which they all do I've never had any problems with them and going to keep it going that way i want to be able to give you guys a long-term look at how these things perform all the ones that i've been showing you throughout this channel i use them all the time some of them 24 7 some of them a little more intermittently but they continue to be used and I will continue to keep you informed of how they, they last over the years. I really do enjoy having the several different systems tied up and running because besides giving me a lot of redundancy uh, with the weather conditions as they do change out here and sometimes we don't see the sun for great periods of time, I can move things around and never miss a beat, not have to use that generator which is always the main goal. No gasoline, sunshine, sunshine, sunshine all the time. But when it's not here, a little redundancy makes it to where everything still continues to run. Don't have any problems. Just kind of wanted to give you a quick little tour on six different systems. I, I miscounted, thought it was five. I forgot about one. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Aloha.